A very good morning, children. How are you all? Hope oh, you all are keeping fine and doing well in your studies. Today we are going to learn from English grammar lesson two. Countable and uncountable nouns. In previous class we have discussed. You have learned what is noun. I hope so. You all might have understood what is noun. Are you remembering, children? Noun is a word we use to a person, place, animals, or things. So let us learn today countable and uncountable nouns. Dear children, are you ready to learn what are the countable and uncountable nouns? Be ready and be attentive in this class. Let's all enjoy while learning countable and uncountable nouns. You can see many things here around these children. Many things are kept. From that, there are countable and uncountable nouns. All of them are called nouns, but some of them we can count, some of them we cannot count. So we are going to learn today what are the countable nouns and uncountable nouns. So be ready to listen. Kavya eats an apple every day. It is a countable noun. Apple is a countable noun. Kavya eats an apple every day. So every day, Kavya eats an apple. Apple is a countable noun. All the fruits countable nouns. Dear children, how many apples are there? Here, three apples you can see. Are you able to count these apples? Yes. We can count these apples. So, apple is a countable noun. We can count them. Apples or bananas or pineapples. We can count them. So, all the fruits comes under countable noun. A very good morning children. How are you all? Hope oh, you all are keeping fine and doing well in your studies. They have a singular and a plural form. Countable nouns are having a singular and a plural form. Here you can see one apple and three apples. Here are some of the examples under countable nouns. Let's see. X, banana, olive, fries, burger, hot dog. Apple, carrots, tomatoes, and watermelon. These all nouns comes under countable nouns. We can count them. Here, three x are there. Comes under countable noun. One banana, two plate, fries are there. We can count them. Burger, hot dog, apple. Here, how many carrots are there? Two carrots. Here, five tomatoes are there. And watermelon. We can count these nouns. So, these nouns come under uncountable noun. Milk is an uncountable noun. We cannot count milk. Are you able to count the milk? We cannot count the milk like one drop, two drops like that. But we can measure uh, uh, one liter of milk, two liter like that way. But we are unable to count the milk. Uncountable nouns are nouns. We cannot count them. We cannot count sugar. We cannot count water. So we cannot count the milk.
uncountable nouns can be grouped as follows let's see here first one powder or grains rice salt flour sand these are uncountable nouns we cannot count them we cannot count the rice salt flour or sand second one liquids and gases here you can see some of the liquids and gases are here it comes under uncountable noun soup one cup of soup you can see we cannot count it and one cup of tea one cup of coffee and one bottle of water are you able to count this no so we call them uncountable nouns down you can see smoke and fog gases so it comes under uncountable nouns because we cannot count them they are called as uncountable nouns third one materials wood it comes under uncountable noun steel gold it comes under uncountable noun paper if papers are there we can count but paper given so it comes under uncountable noun paper is uncountable noun wool wool is uncountable noun cotton it comes under uncountable noun these materials are uncountable nouns dear children please open the textbook page number 11 nouns countable and uncountable nouns today as we are studying countable and uncountable let's see from the textbook page number 11 as i am going to explain listen attentively gt is packing for the for her trip to space gt is packing for her trip to space she is labeling her things to help her remember what to pack so some of the things are kept on the table so we have to help her to pack to go to space so that it is useful for her you can see chocolates are kept in clothes comic books and toys and games these are the nouns so here we have a question tick the right box the words gt is using to label her things are called verbs or nouns options are given to us so the things which the gt is packing are the nouns so option 2 is the right answer so we have to take the second answer is nouns and we can count most nouns here in the box you can see singular and plural under singular one toy one orange one phone in the singular there are more than two you can call it plural so three toys two oranges seven phones these are countable nouns remember nouns are words for people places things organizations etc here down you can see a1 put a tick mark if you can count the item and a cross if you cannot sand water this both are comes under uncountable nouns bowl we can count them fish boy tank plant this all comes under countable nouns we can count it easily so it comes under these things are comes under 
Dear students, in previous page, we have seen sand or water comes under uncountable nouns. Remember that always sand or water comes under uncountable nouns. We cannot count sand or water. So it comes under uncountable noun. Countable nouns have a singular and plural form. We all know when we are counting anything, countable things, countable nouns, a singular and plural form we use. For example, chair, chairs, student, students, pen, pens, pencil, pencils, phone, phones, bag, bags. We can count them, those nouns. So, they have a singular and plural form. Whereas, uncountable nouns have only one form. Okay. For example, so let's see furniture. We will not call furnitures. Rice. We cannot call rices because they have no plural form. Milk. Milks. We will not call milks. Only we will call milk. Money. Monies. This all nouns comes under uncountable nouns. So, we don't have, we don't use plural form. We use only singular form. So, we call them furniture, rice, milk, honey, etc. Okay? We form, look at the pictures below. Color the name box if you can count the noun. If you can't count the noun, you don't color it. Okay? Let's see. First one, soup. Cup of soup, we can say. Soup is comes under uncountable noun. Bread. Bread comes under uncountable noun. If there is there are slices of bread or pieces of bread, it comes under uncountable noun. It is only bread. So it comes under uncountable noun. Cheese. It comes under uncountable noun. Toothpaste, uncountable noun. Honey, uncountable noun. Eggs, we can easily count the eggs. So, it comes under countable noun. Sandwiches, where it comes under countable noun. Floor, are we able to count this floor? No, so it comes under uncountable noun. Let's see third one. We cannot use the words A and with uncountable nouns. Already we have learned that. When we are having the countable nouns, before countable noun, we use A or N or A number. But here let's see the examples. An ice or A news, a paper. This all under uncountable nouns. So, for uncountable nouns, before uncountable noun, we are not supposed to use A or N. Only for countable nouns, we have to use A or N or number. We can say a piece of news, a sheet of paper, a cube of ice. Okay? And say one, fill in the blanks with the suitable words. The first one has been done for you. First one, I stopped at the store to buy a dash of water, bottle of water. Second one, here options are given for you. In the box, you have to take the correct answer and you have to fill in the blank. Second one, my brother made me a hot dash of tea, cup of tea. Third one, the bird was pecking at a dash of rice. Which one is correct? Grain of rice. Very good. Fourth one. Shoma was eating a dash of ice cream. You all know I hope so. Cone of ice cream. Fifth one. 
it is difficult to find a needle in a dash of hay. Only one is remaining. What is the stack? Stack of hay. Good. Page number 13. Look at the page number 13. The following words can only be used before countable nouns. Dear yeah, children, the following words can only be used before countable nouns. Here in the box, examples given. Let's see. Singular and plural. Here singular and plural form given. Examples. Let's see. Singular. A or M. A teacher, a school, a tree, an orange. First, singulars. Plural forms. We can use many, few or a few. Many teachers, many schools, many trees, many students. Comes plural form. Okay? Few. Few teachers, few schools, few trees. Plural form. Use many, few and a few. A few problems, a few questions, a few solutions. These are examples for countable nouns by using singular and plural. Okay. Let's see again. Some nouns can be treated as both countable and uncountable. However, they are used as different words. Look at the following examples given here below. There is hardly any light here. You can see the picture here given. There is hardly any light here. It comes under uncountable noun light whereas here you can see all 10 lights are shining on post we can count the lights 10 lights it comes under countable noun all 10 lights are shining on post down let's see fill in the blanks with the appropriate option given in the brackets. The first one has been done for you. You have to fill the correct answer in the blanks. First one already done. Can I have dash of water? A glass of water. Here you can see a glass. So it is a countable noun. We use before countable noun a glass. Okay. The building is made of glass. Glass. Here you can see the boy is holding glass. So the building is made of glass. It comes under uncountable noun. So we are not using a before noun. Second one. My shirt is crumpled. Can I borrow? Dash. Please. So what is the answer? And iron will come or iron will come. It is a countable noun. So and iron will come. In the blank you have to write and iron. Next, railway tracks stretch in summer because dash expands. And iron will come or iron will come. It is uncountable noun. So we have to write iron. Okay. Third one. How? Oh, there is the magazine stack. Let me buy this. A paper will come or paper will come. You can see there is the magazine stack. Let me buy paper. Okay. Answer is paper. Always remember to recycle dash. Always remember to recycle a paper or paper. Answer is paper. Okay. 
Okay. Paper is comes under uncountable noun. Okay. Have you all understood? What are the countable and uncountable nouns? Dear children, further you can learn many more. You can find out what are the countable nouns and what are the uncountable nouns. I hope so. You might have understood clearly what are the countable and what are the uncountable nouns. Thank you all and have a nice day. Stay at home. Study well, eat well and take good rest. Okay. Bye.